Hello, today's video is a guide on how to get your first rune axe on a low level Iron Man. Buying one from the woodcutting guild takes a while between getting the favor and making all that money and getting 60 woodcutting. So here's a faster way to get a rune axe for all your woodcutting needs. For this method, you will need some runes or a ranged weapon and ammo and have fairy rings unlocked and have a draymond staff and any axe. So you could theoretically do this on a level 3 but but defeating Tanglefoot would be difficult, so you might want to get some combat levels first. For Fairy Tale Part 1, you need 31 crafting and 36 woodcutting. Those are all the actual requirements. It is recommended to have 50 combat and 30 farming, but not necessary. And to unlock fairy rings, you only need to do a small amount of the quest, so you don't need any of the requirements listed on the quest page for Fairy Tale Part 2. Once you have the fairy rings unlocked, you can then use the fairy ring with the code. BKQ and travel to the Enchanted Valley. Here you will need an axe and some way of killing a monster, preferably with mage or range if you're a lower level. Start chopping one of the trees and a tree spirit will appear and attack you. There are several spots where you can safe spot them. It seems you can't range them over tree stumps, but plants work just fine. And there are tons of these plants around the area. Their combat level depends on your stats, so if you're a fresh level 3, they will only be 14 combat, and their level has a maximum of 159. So they'll always be higher level than you, but they only attack with melee, so you won't take any damage safe spotting them, though you might want to bring some food just in case. And they have very low defensive stats, so they're not hard to kill even with wind strike. They drop various herbs, seeds, nature runes, and axes. The rune axe is a 1 out of 32 drop from tree spirits, so it shouldn't take too long long to get, and you can get a decent amount of supplies along the way. That's all for this guide, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.